Okay, so this is a tutorial video for the pentakistodecahedron. Um, and the first thing you're going to need is an extendable dodecahedron. And you may notice that this one is quite a bit larger than the one that I built in the tutorial for the extendable dodecahedron. The difference is, is that the edge pieces of this one are built using rings of 16 magnets rather than rings of 10 magnets. So this edge is going to be a long piece with a length of 8 rather than with a length of 5. But otherwise it's the same thing. And so you have that. And it's really kind of flimsy at this size. When I add on the rest of it, it will get more rigid. But for now it's very flimsy, so it's kind of... be careful with it. Um, the next thing that you need are these, which are rings of 11 magnets, and you need 120 of them. I have them in four stacks of 30 here. And then the last thing that you need is this, which is a tube, uh, five magnets around, and it's 24 rings long. And I'm going to cut this up into uh, pieces that are only too long, like that. But I'll only use one for now. I'll leave the rest for in a little while. Um, so then the next thing that you do is... Let's see, move this out of the way, so... to see better. Uh, I'm just going to do one face for now while I'm talking. I'll probably do the rest sped up. So you take five of these off. and you pinch them together. Now one thing you'll notice though, as opposed to regular long straight pieces, which are kind of a little bit more symmetrical, this one is not. See, it ends in two magnets on this side, it ends in one magnet on that side. So you want to make sure you keep a note of that and keep the polarity straight so they don't get flipped over. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take one of these and attach it to the pentagonal tube piece thing, just like that. That's what it looks like. And you're going to take it like this, and you're going to attach it to this extendable dodecahedron. Uh, I can't really pick it up, it's too flimsy. But what you do is you take it and this one magnet, you actually kind of hook it under these two here. So it just pops in like that. And then you add uh, the four more and hook them under and then attach them to this thing uh, after they've been hooked under is what I've found to be the easiest way to do this shape. And it doesn't always want to go right off the bat, but you can get it to go. And that is one face. And now you want to do the same thing, essentially, on the other 11 faces.
And there you go. It is a Pentacus dodecahedron, a little bit bent here and there from where I dropped it, but complete. And you see it has a, there's another bent spot. Not that it really matters, I'm about to squish it. Um, but it has 60 triangular faces, whereas a regular dodecahedron would just have 20. And now it's time to squish it.